All right, everybody. Hello, greetings, and welcome to a video, my first video on the actual strategies involved with uh, Bravely Default. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer. We're going to talk about the status ailments and how to prevent them. Um, essentially, what I'm going to talk about is the items first, uh, and then I'm going to talk about the uh, skills, and then I'm going to uh, kind of wrap it up with the uh, overall equipment for your ideal situation where you want to get to in the game where you're basically immune to everything. Um, all right, so if you like this video, please like and or subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next one. But we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, by a pretty decent, a pretty decently early point in the game, you'll start to notice that bosses and enemies start using different types of status ailments. Uh, there are several that I've come across, but as far as the ones that I've come across so far, I'm going to teach you guys how to get rid of those. Um, first of all, the mortar board. Uh, it, it gets rid of confusion and charm. Uh, the earthing rod gets rid of paralysis, and the safety ring gets rid of instant death and doom. Uh, those are going to be your bread and butter until you get a specific skill that I'm going to talk about in a moment for any sort of heavy damage dealer that is physical in nature. Um, it is also possible that you would want to go for some kind of blindness immunity, but uh, generally speaking, I did not do that early on because I had a priest in my party and they can get rid of blindness pretty easily. Um, so yeah, basically heavy damage dealers that are physical, you want to go for safety ring, earthing ring, and mortar board. Uh, next up, we are going to talk about a priest class, somebody that does mostly healing. Uh, of course, you're going to want your mortar board again for confusion and charm immunity, because if your healer is healing other people, obviously they are not healing you, which is less than ideal. Um, next thing you want to go for is paralysis immunity with the earthing rod and last but not least the white veil which gives you guys silence immunity. Um, yeah, if you can't heal at all because you are silenced then that is just as bad if not worse than healing the party. Uh, sorry, healing the enemy party. Um, so yeah, there is a point in the game where you will get a fellow called the berserker. Once you get the berserker it is going to be so much easier to deal with um, just about every possible status ailment because you are going to get a skill at level 9 called Unshakable Will. I would suggest getting Unshakable Will and putting it on every single one of your characters because it only costs one point to equip and it gets rid of sleep, paralysis, dread, berserk, confusion, charm, and freezing. That is everything that you are uh, really going to need except for dobbing, uh, let me see, death and doom, and um, poison. So uh, those three things, sorry, those four status ailments um, are preventable with the equipment that I've put on my uh, put on my berserker here. The holy mitre gets rid of silence. Um, the poison immunity comes from the star pendant, and then instant death and doom uh, are gotten rid of or prevented with the safety ring. So if you get a Berserker up to level 9 and you put the Safety Ring, Star Pendant, and Holy Mitre on him, he is essentially unstatusable. Um, yeah, and if you raise your characters to the point where they are level 9 on your Berserker class um, for all of your folks, if you get them to Unshakable Will, then basically your whole team can be immune to most of the status ailments that put you in trouble during battle. Um, your items and your priest's skill, um, Basuna, will get rid of pretty much every other possible status ailment that you can uh, encounter and be harmed by whatsoever. So yeah, all of that stuff will be uh, a an image of the past, a memory, a uh, very sad memory of the past once you've gotten your Berserker and the items that I've described. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That is basically the end of this video. Uh, if you like to uh, like and subscribe, if you would like to like and subscribe, you can do that by clicking on the links provided. Uh, if you'd like to check out other videos I've done, you can do that by clicking on the links in this video. If I've missed something, if I've forgotten a skill, uh, please let me know, and I will put that in another video. 
Um, another thing that I would like to emphasize here while I'm thinking about it is uh, another ability called Better Than Ever. Um, let me see. Uh, Better Than Ever kind of puts you in a position where you're healed, uh, you're overhealed. Once you are overhealed, you have the opportunity to not die in one shot. Uh, if you have like a healer or some other class that has really low HP, um, Better Than Ever is another really, really great skill that I would advise to make yourself more sturdy uh, as well as more resistant to things like death and doom and destruction. Uh, destruction I added, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you're um, putting this stuff together, you're better than ever, you're... Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. You're better than ever, your uh, unshakable will, and the items that I described, and you will basically be a monster that is untake-outable by status ailments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.